Did you know you can make brownies by melting one chocolate bar and then adding it to a blender? Along with one other ingredient, just wait until you see this next ingredient. So next we're gonna add two eggs. One. And two. And then we're gonna place the top on the blender and blend this for a few minutes. And we're just gonna blend until smooth. Okay, from here, I'm gonna set my blender aside. And I have a small dish lined with some parchment paper. So let's make sure all that from the top goes into the blender. And now we're just gonna take our spatula and transfer this right into our baking dish. So make sure you get it all out of your blender. That's honestly the most difficult part of this recipe. But like I said, this is just one melted chocolate bar along with two eggs in the blender. So honestly, you could call this a chocolate omelet, but supposedly it makes brownies. So we are gonna test it out for ourselves and see. All right, so I'm just gonna smooth out the top. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you would try, the chocolate egg brownie. Okay, that looks good. So I have my oven preheated at 350 and this is gonna bake about 10 to 15 minutes and then we will try it out. All right, into the oven at 350. All right, it has been 15 minutes and our chocolate egg brownies or our chocolate omelet, whatever you wanna call it, is ready, I think. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven. I'm very interested, Woo, I'm gonna drop this. I'm very interested in this texture. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool and then we'll try it out. Okay, we have our two ingredient chocolate egg brownie. It's funny because it kind of shrank as it started cooling. Anyways, we are gonna slice this into pieces. I think honestly, I probably could have baked it more like um, 10 minutes instead of 15, because I feel like I like them a little bit more ooey gooey. But check that out. It's like really soft. Let's look at another piece here. It looks pretty good, honestly, and it smells good. Okay, I wanna know in the comments, would you try this two ingredient chocolate egg brownie? Like I said, if you want it to be a little bit more like lava cake-ish, I would cook it for just 10 minutes instead of 15. But let's try it out. I feel like it might be good with some vanilla ice cream but for the sake of this taste test, we're just gonna try it on its own. So here we go. That's honestly pretty good. I think the flavor is actually really good. Does not taste like eggs at all. The only thing I would change is what I already said. I would just cook it a little bit less um, because I feel like it got a little bit too dense here. But if I cooked it just five minutes less, I think it would be Perfect. So I'm definitely gonna make this again and just cook it a little bit less. But overall, I'd say this is pretty darn good for being just two ingredients and lower sugar, lower carb, gluten-free, dairy-free, all the things. So let me know if you try these out. So this brownie is gluten-free, dairy-free, low sugar, depending what kind of chocolate bar you use. And it's actually pretty darn good.